hi everybody welcome back attorney steve vondren hey everybody likes to watch a good boxing match especially when you're out at a restaurant a bar nightclub sports sports but you have to pay for them when you're running a commercial establishment you have to pay the commercial fee usually it's based on occupancy and number of tvs and things like that but you need to pay for the commercial fight a lot of people will download an app on espn and they'll pay for a fight or some other apps and they'll go, hey, you got the fight. And then they'll go into the restaurant and they'll talk the bartender into streaming it up on the TV. Well, there's companies out there like Johan Promotions that are out looking for this infringement. G&G &G Closed Circuit is another one. Out looking for restaurants doing this without the proper fee being paid, the commercial licensing fee to watch the match. So this is where we get in, Vondren Legal gets the call, hey, I'm being, they're demanding twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. we have even heard of uh, phone demands from one of the companies saying, we want 50000 right now, like over the phone. So that can be very intimidating. I wanted to point out with Joe Hand Promotion, this is a company we deal a lot with, and you may have received a letter from this firm right here, Jake Alick and Janice, and that's a firm we deal with quite often on Johan cases. They're out in Pennsylvania, as you can see here. At any rate, um, a new strategy that we see them uh, pursuing here is filing up here what we call the Copyright Claims Board. If any of you have been watching my videos, I've been talking about the Copyright Claims Board that started last year. It was, it was put into one of the COVID relief bills. Hey, let's have a Copyright Small Claims Board in Washington, D.C. So now companies like Johan Promotions that have a copyright claim um, to the videos or to the fight that are, are being shown in the broadcast. Um, they can bring their claims here in the copyright claims uh, court, what's known as the small claims. But as you'll see in a second, what they're seeking for damage is not so small. And um, so this is very important. So here we have it. This is what a claim looks like. I'm inside the copyright claims board platform here. And it will tell you a little bit. I looked up Johan Promotions just to see what they were doing here. And if you want to go look at the case, this is just kind of an info sheet. If you want to go to the case details, if you look, it's kind of like a federal court docket here. Pretty, pretty swanky. You know, this is why we love federal courts. I mean, they get lots of money and they make, they have really nice things. So here, here you have basically just the docket. So you can see this was filed, um, notice of compliance and direction to serve. I think there's probably another page here. Here's the claim. Let's take a look at that claim. So it's a claim for infringement. That's what we were looking at, actually. So let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So they served the packet on this company, the Klubra Cigar Bar. We've seen letters go to cigar bars, uh, barber shops, tattoo parlors, in, a, in addition to just uh, restaurants and nightclubs. So it could be anybody that's showing the fight. So don't think they're not watching, especially if you post a little ad on Facebook. Hey, everybody, come watch the McGregor fight or come watch this fight or that fight. Um, they're, they're looking for these things. So don't think you're too small to be found out. And don't think you're too small to go after either. That's a common misconception. They'll go after all companies, whether they're doing poorly or doing very well. All right, so they had a waiver of service. Somebody agreed to accept the service. Let's go to here. They filed a proof of service with the court. Now, it's actually not a court. It's a claims board, uh, copyright claims board, CCB. It's known as CCB. All right, so uh, notices were sent. And then lo and behold, there was a notice of settlement here and then an order dismissing the claim. So if we go back here to see the actual claim, let me see, where was that? Where was that document? Anyway, um, I don't know where the document is, but suffice it to say, they were seeking $30,000 in damages, okay? So um, in some cases, this might be more than they could even recover in court. So um, if you get a letter from Johan Promotions, it could be a notice that you're being sued in the Washington DC Copyright Claims Board up to $30,000. Um, that's what you're looking at. So we've helped a lot of companies get through this um, to settle, um, usually at a reasonable price to cover the infringements and whatnot, many times to keep you out of court, especially in federal court where things can get expensive. So if you received a letter, you know where to find us on the web at attorneysteve.com. That's attorneysteve.com, the first name in legal services. I got to run. Have a great day. Hope this has been helpful. Free, feel free to share it on your social media networks. General legal information only, not legal advice. Bye-bye.